So 99.9% .9 of the time, if Stockfish tells you a position is winning, it's probably winning. And if it tells you a position is losing, it's probably losing. And if it tells you it's a draw, it's probably a draw. But every now and then we get positions that for whatever reason, Stockfish just gets confused. And today I'm gonna to show you one such position, which is the one you're looking at on the screen right now. First of all, big thank you to Nick for sending me this position. A lot of times when people send me positions, I usually don't make videos on them, but this one was extremely interesting, very intriguing, and I wanted to show it to you. So again, thank you, Nick. Appreciate you taking the time to send me this position. So what we're gonna do today is analyze this position using three different engines. So I'm gonna use the Lee Chess kind of default engine, Stockfish 14, at least that's what I have right now. The Chess.com engine, which I believe is Stockfish 15. And then I'm gonna use what I have on my chess base, which is Fritz 14. And we're gonna see what the evaluation is of this position at different moments throughout the, the study as we kind of go through what's going on. And we're gonna watch what these different engines say. Now, before I turn on the engines and before I actually say anything about the position, if you'd like to pause and think through what do you think is going on in this position, and then we'll talk about it, you can try to figure it out ahead of time yourself. Now it's white to play in this position. Black is going this way. Of course, white's going forward. And like I said, it's white to play. What do you think the evaluation of this position should be? And after you've had a chance to analyze that, we'll talk about it and then we'll check the three different engines and see what they think is going on. Okay, so if you had a chance to look at that and you have your conclusion on what you think is going on, let's go ahead and talk about the situation. So first of all, it's not looking good for white because obviously black has a queen against two pieces, which is better for the queen. And on top of that, black has a lot of pawns. And then even further, our king is kind of stuck in the corner. I mean, it's really not looking good for white. That being said, there's one move. There's one move that we can play as white, knight to e4 check. And I promise I'm gonna come back and look at this with the engine in just a second. I just want you to understand what's going on before we do that. So knight to e4 check, at first glance, it's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just take it. But if you do that, you lose the game to this really interesting checkmate with the bishop, okay? Somehow black's king is kind of stuck by his own pieces and then our pawn and king are kind of helping out and we get this really interesting checkmate. So black can't take the knight the only other legal move is to go king to h4, okay? Uh, but now we can play the move knight to g3. And this is another kind of an interesting move. You might say, well, we're losing our bishop. But if black takes the bishop, we've got knight to f5. Guess what? Checkmate again. All right, so now we can kind of see the idea behind knight to g3. We're threatening checkmate. Now you might say, well, hold on a second. Can't black just take the knight like king takes knight? Well, this is the exact same position that we saw before, almost. The pawn's in a different spot, but it doesn't matter. We have the same checkmate pattern here with our bishop. Okay, so if black can't do that, you might be saying, well, they can just take it with the pawn, right? And this kind of brings us to one position. Now, there is another line that we'll come back to in just a second, queen to f8. We'll analyze that. That's sort of another move that black has, stopping the knight to f5. But what we can do is play bishop to e1. Um, and it actually kind of forces into the same position. So regardless of how we get here, whether it's this way or if black kind of takes immediately, we end up with this pawn structure. Black has the queen and we have the bishop. Okay, now this position, believe it or not, is a draw. It's just a draw and here's why. Bishop to b6, we get control of this diagonal, which is important because if we don't put the bishop on this diagonal, any other move that we play will lose. So for example, let's just say we move our bishop back here. Black simply plays queen a1. It's pinning the bishop. We can't move the bishop. We have to move our king and we lose. Okay. But if we go bishop to b6, and let's just say black tries to do the same thing, comes down here, puts this in check. Notice how now we can play bishop to g1 and everything is stuck in the corner, which is actually really good news for us because if black tries to play a random move like pushing a pawn, guess what? This is a stalemate. We can't move our king because we're trapped and we can't move our bishop because it's pinned, okay? So what does that mean? Well, black has to play a move that lets our bishop off of the back. So let's just take a random move, queen to b2. Now, what do we do? Oh, we move our bishop really anywhere we want along this diagonal. And you might say, well, not anywhere. No, anywhere, like literally anywhere. Let's say we move here, black takes our bishop. Guess what? It's a stalemate. Let's say we move it here and black takes with the pawn. Oh no, we messed it up, right? G3 check. Look at this. And if the king takes, again, it's a stalemate. We're stuck. And if the king moves up here, again, it's a stalemate. So really, 
anywhere we want. We could just move our bishop somewhere. And what's black going to do? They could try to push a pawn. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Of course, the same problem. Black tries to take it, right? They could push this pawn. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And you kind of see the idea, right? Like there's nothing that black can do. They can't move any of these pieces. These are all stuck. So they have to make a queen move or a pawn move. And if you, whenever a pawn moves, we just take it. If the queen ever decides, you know, to come back here and put us in check, that's fine. We just block. And then if the queen stays anywhere here, it's a stalemate. They have to give us some breathing room. And you can play around with it if you like, you know, try to come up with some plan for black, but there's just nothing that, that black can do. We just move our bishop away. And if it ever gets captured, we get stalemated. So that's pretty straightforward. Now is where it gets interesting. Let's go back to the beginning and let's turn on the engines and see what the engines think is happening. All right. So here we go. This is what we're going to start with. This is from Lee Chess. This is Stockfish 14. You can see that there. And in this initial position, it says it's a draw. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens as we play out some of these moves. So knight to e4 check. Okay. If it gets captured, it sees the checkmate. Obviously, that's pretty straightforward. Let's go for this line. King here. Knight to g3. So far, Stockfish is doing pretty well, right? Let's say uh, f takes g3. Bishop to b6. Okay, let's take a look here. Check. All right. This one is already a uh, stalemate. Let's say the queen moves here. Whoa, 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 Stockfish. What is going on? What's going on? You guys see that? For some reason, Stockfish gets really confused, and now it's like, oh, wait a second. Black has a plan here. Black has a plan. And let's, let's follow out some of these moves. It says bishop to d4, queen to e1 check is the line it's giving bishop to g1. Now it's saying queen to e5, bishop to a7. I'm just following the, the lines here. Queen to f4. And somehow, somehow Stockfish thinks that it's making progress, right? Queen to f1. Okay. What are you going to do, Stockfish? What are you going to do? Queen, what is it saying? Queen to e2. Okay, bishop to d4. I mean, look at it. It's, it's confused, right? It thinks that there's something that it can do. Why? I don't know. So, uh, I mean, we already looked at it, right? It's a draw. There's nothing that the black can do. And yet Stockfish is over here, sorry, uh, trying to, to win for black. So let's go ahead and jump over to chess.com's engine and see what that one says. All right, so here we go. This is on chess.com. You can see it says Stockfish 15. And this one, it's minus 0.17, which is weird because it's almost a draw, but it's not quite a draw. It thinks black has some sort of advantage. Let's see what happens if we follow the main line here. Same thing, okay. Knight to g3, still that minus 0.17, wherever that came from. Let's say black takes this way. Same thing, bishop to b6. Let's see what happens when the queen comes down. Okay, bishop to g1. Let's just make a queen move. So chess.com seems, oh, there we go. Zeros all around. So it, it seems like it figured it out. Right, here we go, it's it's understanding. Let's make some more queen moves. Let's see if we can confuse it at all. I mean, I'm, I'm actually surprised. I was not sure what was gonna happen here, but it looks like... Okay, so Stockfish 15, for some reason, is, is seeing something that Stockfish 14 wasn't seeing. I mean, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not able to get it to uh, change from zeros. Which is good. That's what it should be. I mean, it's a draw, right? So, okay. Props to uh, Stockfish15 over here on chess.com. Now, let's go look at my chess base engine, Fritz14, and see what that's all about. All right, guys, here we go. This is chess base, and you can see I have Fritz14 turned on, and look at that, minus 17 for black. So let's let's follow this line out a little bit. Okay, it's still minus uh, 17. Check, the king moves. Knight to g3, it's still saying minus 17, takes, bishop to b6, queen to a1 check, it's still saying black is clearly winning, you can see that, bishop to g1, black is clearly winning. So Fritz is also super confused and has no idea what's going on, it's, it's even worse though with minus 17, it thinks black's totally winning. Let's play a few more moves, bishop c5, what is it saying, queen to b3. Bishop to g1, has no idea what's happening, it can't make progress, and yet it's still confused. So in this little competition, or in this position, 
Um, Chess.com Stockfish 15 wins wins the competition because it's act you know actually evaluating the position correctly as a draw. Fritz not very good, and then uh, Stockfish 14 on Lee Chess uh, not very good as well. So let me know if you guys have a different engine. Try out this position. I'll, I'll paste the uh, the fen below so you can just copy and paste it into your engine. I'm curious what other engines think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's funny, right? Like, you know, like I said, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to be able to trust this evaluation. But in, you know, weird positions like this, we can understand as humans why it's a draw, right? We can see the ideas in the, in the position, but the engines for whatever reason are not able to, to calculate or to understand why it's a draw. So anyway, Thanks again to Nick for sending this position. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this. And uh, if you like this kind of video, let me know. And maybe we can do some more interesting positions like this that uh, engines have a hard time with. Anyway, stay sharp, play smart, and take care.